Are you getting the expander? Time for some PFOing so you know where you're going. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Ryan Packard at Packard Family Orthodontics. I'm here in our office with a special somebody. Hello. We're getting an expander today. And Gwen and her family have volunteered to help us shoot this video so that you all can know what an expander is, how we put it in, and the things that go into this. So first things, let's show you the expander, what we've gone through. Oh, thank you, Gwen. So we make the expander. We're gonna go through a few steps, but this is an example of what it looks like. And they made a model of the teeth there, and then they build the expander around that. How cool is that? You get to choose your color. Here's some other things. I'm gonna have my wonderful friend Nikki with her pink hands point out a few things like the expander key. This is the key that we use to expand the expander. I know okay, how very nice. I've seen my mom use that. Oh, really? She used it on my sister when she had it. Very nice, very nice. Then we have some glue for the expander. Very good, and then we have what we call a bite stick. This helps us, when you bite on it, helps push the expander into place. And then we have some pliers that help us remove the expander or adjust some of the pieces. We have a mirror, and this little pad right here, we put some of our glue on the pad. And then we have our light to help make sure that the glue gets hard. All right, that is what we've got. So when you're ready, your expander has been made. We've already gone through the process. When you come in and lay down, one of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna reach in there and we're gonna try and get out what we call the separators or spacers. Let's go ahead and do that. We put those blue separators around the different teeth that we wanna put the metal bands and then we pull them out just like that. They might be a little bit dirty. Very good, very good. And now they're out. Disgusting. Disgusting. She says it's disgusting. <laughs> we need those spacers in between the teeth so you can create space for the band so that the expander can fit around those teeth. Now that we've got the separators out, we're gonna try and clean around those teeth. We're gonna try in the expander. Here it is. Here's it's the my, expander it's when it's not It's a Christmas off. expander. Oh, it's a Christmas expander. It's Christmas themed. Look at that. Okay, so there's the bands. Point out those bands for me. Looks like a That's bug. the bands that go around those teeth. That's why you need the separators in between the teeth so that those can fit. And then we've got these, the acrylic in the middle, that's the color, and then the screw, if you can see, it's right there in the middle between the two halves, and that's where we turn. So let's go ahead and try that in. Tip your chin up to the sky. There we go. Just with some finger pressure, she tries to get it around the spots, and then if we need to, we come back with our bite stick and we uh, do some individual pushing. Uh, Good job. Are you ready? Uh-huh. All right, now I want you to go ahead and bite. Good job. And bite. Good squeeze. Ah. Can I have another squeeze? Open. Ah. Way to go. Hooray. Tip your head way back for us. Turn to the sky. So we can, everybody can see what it looks like. And look. We're gonna push down a few areas. Squeak, okay. squeaking, squeaking. All right, sweetie, bite. Good job. Good job. Good job. Give me another bite. And bite. Ow, a back in my mouth. I spoke in the back of your mouth. Okay, so what we did is we took a little break because sometimes the expander will come back from the lab and be a little bit bumpy or a little bit sharp and was kind of poking us, right? Yes. And so we had to figure out where it was and what to do in order to make it feel a little bit better. So the orthodontist might have to make some adjustments to the little metal pieces on it. Okay, so we tried it in first to make sure it fits really well. It rests against the teeth. Open your jaw as much as you can. Okay. And then we bring it out to get it ready to glue in. Dry. We're just drying it up a little bit here to get ready for our glue. Aren't you so excited? I love <laughs> Okay, so a demonstration on turning. We have the expander out. Okay, so there's a center portion. See the key? There's the expander key. And there's an in-between part. It's hard to see, but there's holes in there. Maybe the, you can see the arrows. We point to our arrows. There's arrows, and those arrows point back. So when this is in the mouth, the arrows help you know where to turn the key, which direction. And in this case, you're gonna put the, the key in between those two halves, find the little hole. Once you get it in there, yep, and it's in, then you're gonna rotate it backwards. Follow the arrows, up, oh, and it rotates, you see that? It rotated backwards, and then you pull it out. Very good. And you have now turned the expander one time. 
Now that the expander is all dried, we're gonna place some of our glue in the bins. It's a blue glue for us. Some other orthodontists might have different kinds of blue. Okay, so now we are going to, we've got the glue in the expander. We're ready to put the expander in. We'll dry the teeth a little bit first and then on to expanding. Okay, open really wide. Dry some of our teeth. Uh. Good job. Okay. Open really wide. Okay, see the glue kind of comes out. We'll pull that off. Okay, and then we'll go back. Open really wide. Okay, now bite down. Yep. Open and bite down. Open. Bite down. Okay, open again. And bite down. And open. Squeeze. Good. We'll use my mirror. Check how everything is resting. Open really wide. Tip your head back. And open again. We'll do our last little checks. Open again. Open. And bite. Very good. Okay, then if we like it, oh, there's a piece of glue right there. Wipe that off. We'll come back and clean everything else up. Open really wide. And the light. Tip your head back. And we use the light to make sure that the glue is solid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I think you said, this is so awesome. Uh. Is that what you said? Okay, so we've got the expander in. We added a few extra pieces. You orthodontists may or may not do that, but here we, we, we do a little bit of extra glue on some of those metal wires that were reaching over the teeth just to help keep the expander close to the teeth while you're turning the expander. What do you think? I think it's really I like it. Take home message is she likes it. <laughs> okay, so we've got the expander in. There it is. There it is, you can kind of see part of it. Anyways, once the expander in, there's a few things that you need to know, right? Like how to take care of it and how many times you should turn it. There may be some differences. What do you notice? What's different about having an expander in your mouth? It's harder to bite. It might change the way that you bite a little bit. That's what she said. What about the way that you talk? <laughs> <laughs> it can be a little tricky to speak and it's because the expander, especially if there's some acrylic in the top, it can get in the way of where your tongue usually rests and when it moves around to speak. So don't worry, you'll get used to it. Talk a lot, maybe even read a book out loud. As far as cleaning it goes, obviously you keep brushing your teeth. Some people like to use the water pick to shoot the water underneath there. Every time you go visit your orthodontist, they can try to help you clean around it. Flossing can be helpful. Visit with your local orthodontist if you want specific techniques. They may have special ways that they want you to keep things clean. Be careful what you eat, right? It's pretty secure, right? It's got the glue, it's got the bands that are wrapped really tightly around those teeth but it can still come loose if you're not careful. If you're eating things that you shouldn't be, watch out for the really crunchy, the really hard, like don't, don't eat rocks. What about apples? Anything that's crunchy, like apples, it can be helpful if you cut it up smaller pieces. No. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Great question. Okay, any other questions? No. One thumbs up, a thumb and a half. Okay, so hopefully you have a good experience with your expander. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and consider subscribing to the channel so that we can open your eyes to the wonders of straight teeth and beautiful bites. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>